Nearly 800,000 Palestinians have been displaced from Rafah since Israel launched its offensive against the southern Gaza city last week, according to Philippe Lazzarini, head of the United Nations Agency for Palestinian Refugees, UNRWA. Lazzarini condemned the repeated displacement of Palestinians, stating that since the war in Gaza began, many have been forced to flee multiple times in search of safety, even within UNRWA shelters. He highlighted the dangers and hardships faced by those displaced, noting that they often have to abandon their belongings and start over repeatedly. Saturday saw intense fighting across Gaza, not just in Rafah. The Ministry of Health in Gaza reported that 83 Palestinians had been killed over the previous 24 hours. Israeli air and ground attacks claimed at least 64 lives, including 28 in a raid on a home near the Kamal Adwan Hospital in the northern parts of the enclave. Dozens more are feared buried under the debris. Since October 7, at least 35,386 people have been killed and 79,366 wounded in Israeli attacks on Gaza. Families of hostages renewed their appeal for negotiations following the Israeli military's announcement of recovering the body of a fourth captive from Gaza. The Families Forum stated that 128 hostages have been waiting to be released for 225 days and nights. They urged the Israeli government to prioritize negotiations to secure the return of the captives. They emphasized that those alive should be returned for rehabilitation and those murdered should be brought back for dignified burials, referencing the return of Ron Benjamin's body. Meanwhile, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, MBS, and White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, to discuss Israel's war on Gaza and review near final drafts of strategic agreements. The Saudi state news agency reported that the discussions included the need for a credible path toward a two-state solution for Israel and the Palestinians, the cessation of the war in Gaza, and the facilitation of humanitarian aid. They also reviewed the semi-final draft of strategic agreements between the two countries. Sullivan is expected to visit Israel next to discuss bilateral and regional matters, including the ongoing war in Gaza.